It's the Burger Battle. Here's your story, let's begin. The world is fine, come on, dive in. The future's here, it's right before your eyes. Hey man, esa que quiero conocerla para que toda la noche ya conmigo pueda estar y tú. Hey, en busca de otra para ti, para que te divierta y podamos compartir. Hey, yo danza. Finding a good hamburger in Cuenca was really difficult. I mean, the best burger you could find then was maybe Burger King. So what does that tell you? But I am happy to say that this year, there has been an explosion in restaurants. There's been a boom in burgers. A fair amount of places now are getting in Argentine beef. I'm not sure exactly what's happened there, but it's it's a reality. So I, woohoo! Unfortunately, you can't go to Super Maxi and buy it. So what's up with the burgers? Well, Facebook is the community for the gringos, and on there was this new place called Bodie Burgers, and there was um, there was a write-up on it in that it's the same as in and out He went. He's, he's a gringo and he came from the States. And it says he, he copied in and out burgers. I wouldn't say that's true, but that's, you know, that's, what, that's what's being spread around about it. Here's my experience with Bodie Burger. I went in, they're very friendly. The place is kind of impressive because you're walking back to a 50s diner and it has that flavor and it's cool and he's playing some 50s music in the background and it's nice. He make, they make their own ice cream. I had a little sample of it. It was quite good and they make milkshakes from that. But we're talking about the burger. So I ordered up the biggest burger they had. It was a double burger. Now the double burger still amounts to an 8 ounce and I will have to tell you when it came to me one burger had kind of slid back so I saw one burger and it was just a short little thing like that and I said I think I got a single burger here I, I think I got the wrong burger so could you oh no that's a double burger so I I took it apart and lo and behold there was a second patty in there but they're really tiny and together they added up to eight ounces I guess pre-cook I was hungry when I went I hadn't eaten at all that day, and I went to 2, 3 in the afternoon, somewhere around there. So I was hungry. When I finished that burger, I was still hungry. Now, whether it fills you up or not, that's a different issue. It does come into play with value. It did taste good. It had a good taste to it. I enjoyed the burger itself, but three bites and it was gone. This was in my opinion, more like a White Castle kind of thing than a burger. So in that respect, it was disappointing. The flavor was there. Had it been a adult size regular burger, I probably would have fallen in love with it. But if you go in and you spend five something for a burger and you're still hungry, you know, you, I don't really want to order up three or four burgers 
so that was an issue. The other thing I will nitpick on it is the French fries. They're not French fries. I don't know what they are. They're more like overcooked potato sticks. I really did not like them. It was like potato scraps to me. So that's simply subjective in a matter of taste. Some people probably love those. I'm not one of them. I prefer big chunky sized potatoes and and that was the complete opposite. But we're checking burgers so that has nothing to do with it. Value for the burger. I think it's overpriced or it's undersized. One or the other. As far as the flavor goes, it was very good. Uh, so I will return. It was good enough. I will return. Number two on our list is T-Rex. And again, on social media, there's quite a few people that are promoting T-Rex burgers. That's located right down in El Centro on Benigno Malo, almost, be, almost to the park, Calderon. And it's a really small place. Uh, when you go inside, really tiny, I think there's three tables, and the guy who's uh, cooking there is not, not from Ecuador. Uh, he's very friendly, very personable, and he cooks up the burger, and he gave me the burger. There were no fries. I didn't want any anyway. That day, I also had not eaten, and I also went around 2, 2.30 around that time. So I went in, I sat down, I had uh, some sparkling water, my favorite drink, and I had this burger, and this burger was this burger, and it was very juicy. It was good. Um, I ate it all, but barely. I was really full. So it was less money and certainly more filling. Was the flavor as good? It was... I'm, I would probably give a slight edge to the Bodie Burger for the flavor. This was really good. And overall, I was more satisfied with the T-Rex Burger. The Bodie Burger did have a slight edge on the flavor. But I don't want to eat a burger in two or three bites. So there you go on those burgers. So are those the best burgers that Cuenca has to offer? Well, we're going to have another burger battle. Happily so. I will say this. I, I can honestly tell you right now that in my opinion, and of course all these videos are only my opinion, but in my opinion, the best burger I have had in the entire realm of Cuenca, in the entire realm of Cuenca, is at the Prague Brew Pub. That burger was absolutely delicious amazingly so I don't remember the price I think it might have been eight nine dollars I think it was a Red Robin price burger it was delicious but there was a downside to it the bread it came in was inedible literally the bottom of that bread was this thick and it would be like chewing the tire on a car it was awful I didn't eat it. I tried. I took a bite. I couldn't do it. The top was not that great. The bread sucked. It absolutely sucked. But I'm going to go back and I'm going to have that burger and I'm going to stop at a bakery and I'm going to buy a roll and I'm going to take it in and I'm going to change that roll out and I think I will have the best burger in Cuenca when I do that. Now, some honorable mentions. Uh, Inca Burger is very good. You can get it in all sizes. You can get it from normal human to a hungry human to a this is ridiculous, I'm going to have to take half of it home type of burger. I usually get the middle one and it's delicious and with it they'll serve uh, homemade potato chips which are very good. So that's uh, Inca Burger is a very good one and there's a few others that are, are pretty decent. And I will hit them up in the next month, um, and we'll see if we can find the absolute very best. Now, some people are going to say, Chill and Grill. Some people are going to say, McDonald's. I, you know, there's no accounting for taste. So, hope you enjoyed the burger battles. I'll see you there. You know you could.
Cuenca Dumb. Cuenca Dumb.